welcome back to Ken Woven. I'm Rebecca Robeson. And I'm Shara. Shara is my daughter and we have been working really hard to decorate her home for Christmas. You guys have been watching our Christmas videos all week and we're coming near the end. But when Shara walked you through her whole home, the tour of her whole home in the very beginning, you got a glimpse of this beautiful sunroom. So today we're gonna show you how exactly we went through the process of decorating windows in her home. We want to give a special thank you to Shinoda Design Center for providing us with this gorgeous reindeer and all of the things that you're going to see in this room today. And if you guys want to know where any of this is from, is since it is from Shinoda, on their website they do have a special page. We'll put the link below. You guys can check out their site and shop the things in our home this year. This is a video about how to decorate windows in your home for the holidays. There are a bunch of different ways to decorate windows, but we're gonna really focus on two ways that you guys can decorate your windows for Christmas, two different applications, and I think it's gonna be fun. Yeah, one's dark, one's light, what's not to love? Let's get started. I look at the room that I wanna do, and I look at the windows and say, which ones do I wanna do? Instead of doing the window on the front of the house, now here's something you need to think about. When you're going to do windows, if you're going to do any of the windows on the front of your home, meaning it's what people see when they drive by or walk by, you want to think of symmetry and you want to think of balance. You don't want to just do one window if there's a matching window or a symmetrical window on the other side of the house. You want to match that. That's precisely why we did two Christmas trees this year in the two bay windows of Shara's home because, again, essentially, even though it's a tree, we're decorating the windows because that's what people see from the outside. When it came to this side of the house, we decided rather than do the front windows, let's do these windows that you see through the French doors when you first walk into the dining room. And isn't this an absolutely amazing first impression? So I was thinking symmetry, of course, and I was also thinking, do we want to do wreaths? Do we want to do garlands? Do we want to do vines? There's so many ways. Take a look at some of the windows that we've designed in the past years, not only in my home, but in clients' homes and people's homes we went and did for Christmas. The second thing is, if you're gonna do your windows, I love it if you can add lights to your garlands or whatever you do at the windows because at nighttime when people drive by, it's so beautiful and it's so beautiful on the inside. Often when you get even pre-lit uh, garlands, you need to add extra lights. And in this particular one, we did. We added the round frosted ball lights to an already pre-lit garland. Because there are two windows and two garlands on either side, on the outside, that's where the electrical cord drops down. And we were able to camouflage the cords, running it down the side of the casement where it's essentially hidden and down to where there is an outlet. Consider whether or not you want to make it a little fuller. And if you do, you can use extra picks, which is what we did here. Once I get up there, I decide, okay, usually I want something in the center. And in this case, I knew I was gonna do this beautiful bow. So my, my picks, I put one to the side on the left, one to the side on the right, making that bow have a bigger crescendo, being more impressive in the end. And heaven and nature see, and heaven and nature see. The fourth tip I have for you is to take advantage of the natural light that's coming into the room via the windows. So in this case, what I did here was I started off with hanging these red icicles. Now these I think are so fabulous and I've had them for years. Anytime you add color like this, you're going to want to space them out evenly, at least I do, because it gives me a piece when I look at the finished result. Then in between each one of these red icicles, I added all these glass frosted and clear glass icicles, and I hang them up on some of the higher branches and low on some, and that's how you get the different heights. And remember, you want to get different depths as well. And that's what will give dimension to your window design. So you can 
see from this that adding window decorations to your Christmas decorating scheme can add a lot to your space. It can spread your decorations out throughout your house and your rooms, not making it all heavy on one side. And it can make an absolutely beautiful first impression. And what do you see? Well, this is tip number five. Pull it all together with something that's gonna draw your eye not only to what you see in the center, but up to those windows. We did that by placing the sofa right here in the center. And of course, this amazing reindeer from Shinoda. I just think this thing is so great. And then we added the bows that match the rest of the decorations in the house. That bow then connects with the bows on either one of the garlands. Back here we have a sofa table and some side tables and adding some really cute lanterns. The, the style and the feel of this goes so well with the look of the reindeer. I love how these windows turned out. Leave me a comment below and let me know. Now, are you ready to go upstairs and see what I did up in the guest room? It's a completely different feel, a different style. It's the room that I'm staying in. Let's go upstairs and take a look at those windows. Now I'm gonna show you a way to do windows that is so fast and so easy you're not gonna believe it. And what a big difference it makes. Assess your situation. In this room, which windows did I wanna do? Well, I certainly wanted to have a great first impression when I came in. The second thing is, there is a window above the bed, but it's on the front of the house. So if I did a wreath, which is what I chose to do here in that window, then I would have wanted to do all of the windows across the front of the house the same way. Can you imagine looking at a house from the outside and one window has a wreath in it, it's all lit up and the rest of them are dark? So you're always, I always look at things from not only what it looks like on the inside, but what does it look like on the outside? Now, once I decided which windows, then I needed to decide, okay, what treatment? Well, here's what I came up with. In my mind, let's do wreaths. Why? Because I already have a garland on the fireplace. That's how you decide. When I was hanging these, and I already told you I decided to do wreaths, right? Well, I hung them, and you'll see in this footage that I ended up hanging these. I hung this on a nail right up here and they were half on the window and half off. Here's what happened. Once I did my mantle, I realized that this could hang down further. I didn't know if this was all gonna be in a row. And once we were done and I looked at it, I went, you know what, I don't like seeing that half in the window and half on the wall, nor did I like it from the outside. We came home that night after dinner and I could see these wreaths in the window and you only saw like, a, it looked like a smile face. <laughs> so the next day, the first thing I did is I lowered these to land in within the window space itself. And I think it made a big difference and is beautiful how it flows together with the fireplace. And here's another thing I learned when I hung these. Once it hung into the window, this guy, has a tendency to turn in toward the window. And as hard as I tried to straighten it out, I couldn't. And I came up with a brilliant idea. You guys, I got me some of my floral wire and I run it along the spine of the wreath. Once I get it around here, I wrap it a couple of times and then I turn this into kind of a kickstand almost. You know what I'm saying? That now acts as a barrier so that that wreath cannot go any further than that little kickstand. So this came pretty open, pretty open aired, and I wanted it to be thicker and fuller. And the reason is because the sun comes through from behind. So any voids really show up even more than you would think on any other occasion. So I added additional picks. So see this, this is an additional pick this is a new one and this is one. So there's three total and that just kind of filled in that wreath beautifully. Looking for the box that says jewels. Oh. Taking advantage of natural light. How do you do that? 
I do that, let's say I'm, I'm decorating, I'm doing a client's home and I've got a sofa table in front of a window. What would I likely put on that table? Something glass so that, or something colored glass so that when the light comes through, I have something on the table, but I get the reflection and the light source coming through. So this little ice hangle, icicle thing is actually one of my boingy ones. It's what I typically put on a spinner and I have them on the tree and it just hangs here and look, it just gives a little sense of reflection and magical essence to the room. <music> Gotta love these battery pack candelabras. Now, a lot of you have seen these before. They're usually cream on the bottom and they're different heights. This is a newer type version and they're battery packed. It used to be you had to, my mom, when she did our windows, we'd have to go around and have extension cords running from the window down to the floor and all the way around just to find places to plug these in. I have to say, I have a, like on my bucket list is to own a home that has windows all across the front and having these in every single window. Have you ever seen a house like that when you drive by? It, you wanna go inside. It looks like the people who live in there love each other. So get yourself some of these. Or I just found these on Amazon. I think they're awesome. So that's it for a couple of different window ideas. This one was super fast and super easy. I hope people take these things and use them in their own homes. Yeah, I think it turned out amazing. And I love that there's two distinct different styles. And it's kind of fun to do something up in the bedroom, something different down in the house. I think they turned out great. And one last thing, we want to make sure that you guys know, just because we're finished with our Christmas series doesn't mean we're finished for, for 2020 with our videos, right? Because I've got some really good ones coming out, and I bet you do too. Well, actually, you're having a baby. I might be done. <laughs> so, yeah, she may be done. Come and watch the videos on my channel. Meanwhile, go and see the ones that we've uploaded this entire week. Many of them, three of them on Shara's channel, three on mine. It'll give you a full look at the whole house. Shara, thank you again for making your whole beautiful guest room available to me during this time. Yeah. I'm going to head back to San Diego now, sell my house, and then when I get the call that you're in labor, I'm on a plane. And I'm on my oh, way out plane. here for my new grandson, Sawyer. So exciting. I'll be back in this room. I'll be here for Christmas to enjoy this. It'll be so much fun. It'll okay. be so nice. And then I may just stay. I love the room so much. I know. Well, we're going to find you an amazing house that you're going to love in Tulsa. You're welcome to stay here, but I have a feeling you want something a little bigger. Well, than just this. Yes, probably. <laughs> something with a kitchen, perhaps. Well, we hope you guys Bye. have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and we will see you guys very soon. All right. Bye, guys. Did it look straight? Yep. <laughs> Do-do-do-do-do. <laughs>